I was conscious that Bolton didn't have any kind of arts festival that most other towns in the North West do. Something. So I said, let's have a festival. Let's have, let's have a small poetry festival in Bolton where we can demonstrate our capacity to manage something and, um, and, and draw people in and, and, and make sure that lots of people are involved. They call Bolton work town in their records uh, because, as they say, they could see no other reason why Bolton existed other than to, for people to work. Welcome to this Bubble Georges, also Countdown and Worktown, Worktown Festival. We've got some fabulous readers, fabulous guest actor from John Toe. That moment ended my days of being a man. Watch people. No, I'm a man with a woman, with you, in search of a beautiful uh, tonight's Right Out Loud um, is a special one in that it's in conjunction with the Live From Work Town Festival. Uh, with some of the, yes. This is my submission for uh, Work Town. It's an old poem, but uh, I should have. I hope this from the experiences of that. Work town. <laughs> right, lovely. Yeah, we're having a festival, in case no one's mentioned it. Um, I'd like to say thank you to everybody on the uh, Live From Work to Work Town team. It's been a real pleasure to be invited. You've all been amazing at organising such amazing events. Congratulations. And I was thinking when I was sitting at the back listening to you all that I have probably read or taught poetry in every little village, town and city of this country. I've gone as far as Fiji and quite a few countries in between, but I have never been to an event quite like this, where so many languages have been translated and performed. It's real, real pleasure to be part of something like this. Well done, boy, to the fighting. Woohoo! Give them a good time. We were importing a guy all the way from New York. He's uh, the larger residence of the Walt Whitman birthplace, his name is George Wallace. He's one of the largest living beat poets in the world. Uh, he's doing a UK tour, we're very lucky to have now do it. He's the only performance that we're getting in Greater Manchester is happening with us. He's also, at the kindness of his heart, going to run a workshop for us. Um, so you can be taught poems by George Wallace, or taught poetry theory, so to speak. Uh, and that's on two to four on the same day. So that's uh, fantastic. In the next two hours, we're going to do something that you ordinarily don't do in a writing workshop. Because the writing process involves um, uh, these four stages. But the one stage is triggering an idea. The second stage is brainstorming the idea for some period of time to so develop some material. The third stage is editing what you brainstormed. And the fourth stage is polishing, fine-tuning that the stuff that you've edited. And normally, when you come to a workshop, you work on the editing and the fine-tuning process. This uh, workshop is not that part of the process. 
This workshop is about exercising the triggering part and the brainstorming part of your brain to see what you can do to get your muscle, get muscle memory in your brain to do those functions. Let's have the ladies clapping first. Come on, ladies! So this is, since people out here I didn't get to hear tonight, so uh, I'm just going to have to come back again next year and hear the rest of it. Hey. Once I did hear, I really appreciate it, and it's been a beautiful hour. Um, I'll give you some stuff of my own, but first I want to do thank uh, um, Scott and David and all the people behind the scenes that have made this thing happen. So let's have a round of applause for them. So this is beautiful downtown Baltimore. Yeah. 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 All right, I like Baltimore. We're down tomorrow, Dog and Partridge, 8 p.m. We've got Alabaster the Plume, Ray Connolly, Paddy Steer, and Don McCarr all play for 8 p.m. Dick off. How much that cost you? Nothing! Just come down and enjoy. Thank <laughs> you.